Hello! Today I'm going to make a bit of a different video, hence why you see my face, even though I look really tired <laughs> and sick, but that's why, because I am sick. I'm going to make a January recap about my artwork. One of these are my sculptural paintings, like that one, where I'm growing mushrooms and crystals and various plants onto a canvas. And then, in a kind of abstract way, I paint the back. It all started with me trying to grow as an artist and expressing that growth on canvases. And it kind of stuck with me and I really like to work that way. And sometimes I talk about different topics, but right now it's really about that visual growth. And it's a visual approach. So I made two canvases this month. I made the chameleon transformation. Uh, that goes from chameleon to plants, or vice versa. And I made a tiny one, which is a artwork by Luck, which is a mushroom bunch, I guess, and I, I call it Ireland because of the blue, and I don't know, it just rang right with me. Next to that, I worked on the Indonesian deforestation, which you have heard about quite a lot this past week, so if you've been following my videos and my work. I'm still far from done. I still have a lot of birds and plants to do, but I have the canvas that I'm going to work on that is cut. It's going to be a huge artwork. I have the canvas. I have the canvas cut. I just need to prepare it and I'm going to do that today. And I still need to make more birds and plants and probably a tiger as well. And then arrange everything and ah oh well, you'll see. I hope it's going to look good. Um, this is an important issue for me and for the world. The Indonesian rainforests have experienced a loss of 50% in just 50 years. So it is, I mean, it's huge. And it's really saddening because so many plants and birds and species are endangered and critically endangered because of that. And many are already dead, orchids as well, so much things. Even though all these environmental and political issues are very important right now the world is pretty bad in pretty bad shape and we are heading in very bad direction because you have Trump that's bad enough but in Europe it's not that much better in France we might we might have uh, Marine Le Pen as a president which would be awful but it might happen because right now everything is going awry so I think it's important to talk about it in your art even though you might not feel like doing anything about it. But it's also very depressing. So to keep my own sanity, I'm also working on surrealistic sculptures like caterpillars and animal books. And those are fun to do. I really enjoy them. So my first caterpillar has been inspired by this one. Plume. She doesn't really like to be taken in my arms, so I'm not sure she's going to stay all too long. I'm a plume. But look at that squishy face. Look at her. Yes, look at her. As I said, she doesn't really like to be taken around. So I made some animal bags and one of the first was inspired by plume. My first caterpillar, which is a cat caterpillar, hence cat a pillar. I know it's silly, but <laughs> What can I do? And I made another one as well, because, I mean, so much possibilities on those sculptures. And I'm probably going to make a bunch of other caterpillars, because they just make me happy. And that's, that's a good reason to make something in art, because it makes you happy. And I also made a coccinelle, which is a cow ladybird. Ladybird or ladybug in French is coccinelle, hence coccinelle. It's actually fun because I, I've heard from a few of my Instagram followers that I think it's in Brazil. The word for ladybug is divine little cow in Hungarian, I think, but correct me if I'm wrong. It loosely translates into little cow as well. So at least I'm not crazy. I'm not the only one seeing a connection between cows and ladybugs. Lastly, I also made an elephant, an Elepholus magnificus, so an elephant and Euphoulous Magnificus bug, mainly because I really like that bug, because I always thought it was a beautiful bug. 
And since I was working on those animal bugs, I thought it would be a nice connection to make it half elephant, half bug. And I really like how it ended in the end, even though it was a was quite complicated to make the legs. So I'm I'm quite happy, I must say. I think so far the year has started rather good. I made some things I really like and it looks cool. So in a nutshell, I made two sculptural paintings that are of a visual approach, where I work on shapes and details and abstraction. I worked on the Indonesian deforestation, where I work in a more ethical way and where meaning is the most important. And then I worked on surrealistic sculptures where I'm trying to remind everyone, especially myself, that life is short, that we are all made of the same matter, that we all die, and that it doesn't matter. It's important to stay happy and have fun as well. So that's about it for January. I'm I'm also found a few art competition to participate in. My cat is making so much noise, but that's fine. I've also made a bunch of videos on YouTube. I almost did two per week, so I'm really proud of myself on that. But hey, I need money. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to make one every month because it's good for me to see what I have done and to try to put into words what I'm trying to achieve here. It's important for myself and well why not put it on YouTube maybe it might help someone else so next month I'm I'm having art competitions to finish and I really need to find artist friends that expose in cool galleries so I can expose myself and find some customers so yeah if you are a gallery owner I'm available I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in my next one. Bye! God, I look so sick and pale. <sighs> Beauty standards. about my art well, I don't know I don't know I don't know is it silly or is it good I don't know I don't know does it make sense is it pretty I don't know I don't know écoute plume tu vas parler comme ça tout le temps